In this video, I'll show you my ergonomic setup for working. This setup is exclusively for work, so it's not for playing games. I currently live in an apartment on the beach block of an island on the southeastern coast of Brazil in a city called Vitoria. From here, I work for companies all over the world. Living near the beach is very healthy for me because it's great for outdoor activities and I'm doing it every day. Between meetings, 10 minutes is enough for a refreshing swim. This view is from my office window, so if I'm struggling with a cold problem, sometimes a quick break for a walk on the beach sand is the perfect mind reset I need to solve it. This is an overview of my office room. On this side is a rubber mat for exercise, a bookcase full of books, and wall bars also for exercises. In front, there is a huge window, and on the other side, my main work desk and a glass desk for support. I choose white color for the floor and walls, so they could be as bright as possible with natural light. In the sequence, I'll detail the concepts and ideas that based my choices on this setup. In my office, I have a huge window overlooking some trees on the street with the ocean on the horizon. We are not plants, but guess what? We also need natural light to be healthy. I see a lot of people working in a room that is like a bunker, with no windows, no natural light. If you are in one of them, I recommend a quick search about the benefits of natural light on you and your environment. This is my book case. Reading is one of the best ways to study everything you want, but to me, it's also a way to get away from the excess of screens when you have pre-printed books. Next to the book case, there are the wall bars that are used for exercises. Sometimes I do a Pilates series, sometimes I strength training. I often just do a dead hanging while I'm having a meeting. By doing this simple exercise, I'm releasing pressure on my spine, stretching my back and increasing my strength and mobility. On the floor, I have a rubber mat for doing yoga, calisthenics and stretching positions. This is a Tron Aura, one of the fastest sailing fans made by Tron. Its three blades can renew the air in my office in a few minutes and give me the windy feeling when I want it, especially when I'm exercising. I also have an air conditioner. It is a green Eco Garden Inverter. This is a very quiet and cost effective device. With it, I can precisely set the office temperature. Attached to my air conditioner is the air folio. It's an air conditioning flow deflector. It has a beautiful design made with transparent acrylic and really directs the airflow with high precision. This is a talk and stock glass desk. I use this desk to consult books, write and draw on papers. The glass surface is also excellent for cutting with a utility knife. I currently have two Linux laptops. I call them the mobility laptop and the stationary laptop. The stationary laptop is attached to my main desk frame, which I will show you later in this video. 
and this one you are seeing now on the glass desk is my mobility laptop. It's a Sony Vio FE15. There is no cable management here. I simply tied an outlet to the desk frame with cable ties. The goal here is to easily connect and disconnect the charger. And I'm ready to go. This is the chair of the glass desk. It's a generic Walmart chair, but surprisingly it's very comfy. It has only a few controls, but its construction fits my body shape, so ends up that it's also ergonomic for me. The main desk of my office is the F40 Pro by DT3. DT3 is one of my favorite brands when it comes to office furniture because I think they are really committed to building the perfect design for every purpose. The F40 is a large standing desk with a high quality finish and a very quiet engine. On the desk sides I have two cabinets for storing all kinds of stuff. I recorded three heights in the desk memory, one for work sitting on my chair, one for working standing up, and another one for doing maintenance on the parts below the desk. The seating position I set to 71 cm high. The standing position I set to 96 cm and this is the position I use for work most of the time because standing is better for my health than sitting and makes the increase of my mobility easier. The last position is set to 121 cm high is the highest position this desk can rise, perfect for maintenance work. Coming from the standing desk there are two power cables, the black one goes to the power outlet, the white one goes to the glass desk for powering the mobility laptop. And on the floor, I have this footrest by Resolve Ergonomics. It is really comfy and massages my feet while I work. I put this footrest on top of my wooden stuff box. Just behind the cabinet, I have my power outlet. To protect my setup from power surges, I use a Nike Clumper Pocket. It's a surge protection device made by the Clumper company. After years of trying all sorts of cable management rigs, I've decided never to use anything that holds the cables in a fixed position. Simply because cables are not forever, things are not unchangeable. On the contrary, they are constantly changing, breaking, and then being replaced, and so on. So there is no sense in gluing everything up, attaching things as if they were static forever. If I need to replace a cable, an external drive, or a USB hub, I don't have to unstick anything from anywhere. That's how I came up with the idea of having a box. The solution I found was to screw a plastic box under the desk and then let all the mess reside freely inside it. Of course, I made sure to place the box in a position that doesn't touch my legs when I'm sitting. Right behind my screen is my stationary laptop hung by wires, simply because wires are cheap and thermally efficient for this purpose. 
Wires are also easy to remove and adjust on any kind of laptop. I change the laptop hanging here frequently depending on the project I'm working on. Most of the time, I have a MacBook hanging here. But the laptop you are seeing now is an HP ProBook running Linux due to the requirements of the current project. My backlight is just a generic desk lamp. Visual aesthetics were not considered here since everything is out of view. I designed and built the monitor support by soldering iron bars so it fits perfectly on the tabletop. Inside the plastic box, there are all sorts of cables, but also a Samsung Game 3 external USB drive, a TP-Link UHE 700 USB hub with 7 ports, and a Force Line 673 surge protector. About two years ago, I used to work with a three-screen setup. It was three 22-inch monitors in portrait mode. It was a good setup, but the frames between the screens bothered me a lot. So I decided to try something new. I would need a setup that preserves the workspace size I had with the three screens. So I decided to sell my three monitors and buy a 49-inch Samsung curved monitor. This big curved screen has fantastic finishing work and I love the steel look on the frame. It has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. I choose a screen with this aspect ratio because of the height it provides. So, on this monitor I can see many more lines of code without scrolling than on a super wide monitor, which has a lower aspect ratio with a lower height. Below the big screen, I have my stationary laptop display. It is stationary because it stays attached to the back of the big monitor. I use this Full HD display when I need to share my screen during meetings. The big screen has a 4K resolution, so sharing the entire 4K screen is bad because most people use Full HD resolution and will face downsizing problems. Besides, a 4K resolution consumes a lot of bandwidth in the streaming. Sharing windows instead of the entire screen is a pain when you need to switch windows all the time. Therefore, it's just more convenient to share the entire laptop screen and then drag all the shareable windows onto it. Near my laptop display is my Logitech C920 webcam. It's a full HD camera that I use for meetings. I also use this camera to record this intro video I played at the beginning. You can see that the viewing angle shows a background where we can see the wall bars and the window from bottom to top. This angle gives me more privacy, mainly when someone needs to open the office door and enter the room.
I prefer wired devices to the wireless ones. Almost everything in my setup is wired. Primarily because I hate the idea of having to recharge and change batteries for the wireless devices. Wired devices are more performant and eco-friendly as well. I'm also trying to reduce the amount of electromagnetic fields I'm exposed to. Because of the new studies about the impacts of EMF on our bodies. So wired devices are better on this subject as well. Protecting my desk and giving me a better touch is my large white desk mat, made by Gio. Right over the large desk mat, I have a smaller foam mat on which I place my keyboard and microphone. On top of the large desk mat is my Deluxe M618BU vertical mouse. After trying a bunch of vertical mice from the simplest and cheapest to the more expensive and fancy ones, I can guarantee this one is the best. It has a rubber cover that massages and stimulates the hand's blood flow. This mouse is a beast, a monster of ergonomics. It's a lightweight giant mouse that fits perfectly in my hand. Before buying this mouse, I also tried the touchpad, but at the end of the day, my fingers were always tingling. I don't know exactly why, there are a few concerns about touchpads being harmful to our hands due to low frequency radiation. So I just decided to go back to the mouse. On the opposite side of the mouse, I have my HS aluminum phone support. The support holds the phone in a position of easy access and permits the cable connection so I can test and debug apps under development directly on the device. The phone on the support also depends on the current project requirements. Now I'm using an Android phone. In the center of the desk is my Razer Siren Mini microphone. This microphone comes with a small desk stand but I was able to make it bigger by replacing the original tiny stand bar with a taller threaded bar I bought at the hardware shop. To make it look better, I covered it with black tubes made for organizing electrical wires in cars. I actually used tubes of this type to organize all the wires in this setup. I use this microphone in my daily work when I'm attending meetings or recording a video tutorial. 
I never use headsets because they are very harmful to my ears. And I made sure the microphone was not in my viewing angle. Now I'm gonna talk about my keyboard. It's a custom Smartial LY092 keyboard. This mechanical split keyboard comes with my favorite switch type, the Cherry MX Red. All keys are reprogrammable and macro-friendly. You buy it as a regular horizontal split keyboard, but I designed it and built this support with threaded bars to turn it into a vertical split keyboard. This keyboard has a two-key click feature that enables sending up to six characters when two keys are pressed simultaneously. And you can have up to four profiles to record different key mappings for different use cases. One of the top features of this keyboard is the hotkey function. A hotkey is a key that sends a shortcut, such as Ctrl C when pressed. With a hotkey, you can implement functions like copy, paste, cut, undo, or redo with a single key press. I changed the keycaps of the hotkeys I configured, so that's why I have two keys with the letter C for example. One key sends the original letter C signal, and the other sends the Ctrl C command. So following this hotkey idea, I have on the left keyboard, W and Ctrl W Q and Ctrl Q T and Ctrl T A and Ctrl A X and Ctrl X V and Ctrl V Z and Ctrl C Z and Ctrl Z And on the right keyboard, I have the Y and Ctrl Y, N and Ctrl N. As I said before, I usually don't use headsets, but when I do, I do it with this only audio A2 headset. It has a 50mm driver with 32 ohms of impedance, delivering a clear sound with beautiful bass. I never use the microphone of this headset, so it ends up just being my headphone. I like to keep my headphones in the top drawer of my desk cabinet, so I keep them away from dust and save more desk space. When it comes to ergonomics, this is a real star, the DT3 Zodiac Chair. This chair is a masterpiece of DT3's Cavalleria series. I just gave up counting the number of adjustments and combinations you can make with it. One of the top features of this chair is the four-dimensional arm. The chair armrest should rise above the desk level, so your forearm goes slightly down to ensure better blood flow through your hands. When you sit in a chair, your arm should rest on the arm of the chair not on the desk. The armrest also needs to advance forward to support your wrist so you can prevent injuries.
this thing adapts to your body shape without losing the benefits of the mesh screen. This is possible because this mesh was designed and tested to perform really well. The mesh allows your body to literally breathe through it, while the frame can be adjusted to provide the best ergonomic experience I've had in a chair so far. I always prefer natural light, but when night comes, I just turn on my desk lamp. This lamp behind my monitor is enough for a cozy work night. It's simply a warm background lamp, a simple and elegant lighting. And if you stayed up until here, this is the bonus part of the video, with the installation of my new fancy tech glass keycaps. After creating hotkeys using equal keycaps, I realized that I needed to differentiate the hotkeys from the regular keys. So I bought these glass keycaps to solve the problem. It's all made of plastic, but a clear, shiny plastic, like true glass. I decided to use black keycaps only for the hot keys. The glass keycaps will be on the majority of regular keys, so I'll have a shiny keyboard. Through the glass keycaps, you can see the Cherry MX red switches. And this is how it looks at night, with the background lamp on.
The flow of ideas for making this setup was strongly influenced by a lot of videos I've watched before. From academic research documentaries to simple meme videos, everything inspires me. I mean, you just watched my original ideas, but they're always influenced by everything I see. So I just made this video to share my ideas, and I hope it contributes to yours. That's my way to keep the flow alive, and give thanks to everybody who shares. Thank you.